está comenzando. Todos los asistentes están en modo de solo escucha. Hello everyone. Welcome to this webinar about Juniper Trip Planner module. My name is Sandra Sanchez and I'm part of the Sales Consultants team. Before we start, you'll see that you have a panel on the right side of your screen where you will be able to ask questions during the webinar. And when we finish, I'll try to dedicate a few minutes to answering them. In case it would not be possible or if any question is left unanswered, we will review this afterwards and contact you by email to answer it more thoroughly. Also, and for those who are watching this video at a later stage, at the end of this webinar, you will find our contact address in case you have any other doubts and our team will be happy to help you. So we will start with a short introduction about the module. We will inform you about what the tool can do, how it works, and what are the benefits of contracting this module. Then we will give you a short live demo following all the steps that were previously explained to see some visual examples. We will conclude the webinar with a brief summary and at the end we will inform you where you can find information about this module on Juniper support tool and where you can view this webinar again as it has been recorded. We start with this diagram in which we give some context to this module. Here we have an overview of the modules that are currently available in Juniper. On the left side, we can see the product to be sold coming from both the external suppliers as well as own contracting. The rules of all these products are defined in one we, what we call, we call the Juniper back office or intranet where you can configure your clients, internet users, or business rules, such as markups, commissions, taxes, etc. And then on the right side, we can see all the different types of distribution channels that Juniper offers. In case of the Juniper Trip Planner, we can see here that this module would be part of the booking engine. What is the Juniper Trip Planner? This is a travel itinerary builder that will allow your customers to create their own itinerary, including flights, hotels, and other additional services from the same interface. The interactive map will allow your customers to have a detailed overview of the trip, including routes, dates, nights, and additional services. This interface simplifies the planning, booking, and payment of the trip, which will translate into increased sales of your, for your business. And how does it work? With this tool, your customers will be able to configure personalized vacations and tailor their trip to their needs. They will be able to determine the mode of transportation they want to use to reach each destination, at this point, you should know that by default, the system will choose flights and a small dose transportation, and later the transportation can be changed by adding, by adding it to the itinerary. We will see this uh, later in the demonstration. Your customers will also be able to select the date on which they want to travel, the number of passengers uh, traveling on this booking, accommodation, and other additional services they would like to add. To make this process as easy as possible for them, our solution will, se will select the cheapest services and will allow them to change it according to their preferences. Furthermore, for your customers will be able to view the itinerary at all times through the interactive map. It will be necessary to select each product separately, indicating the necessary information and preferences in case applicable, and the confirmation of the booking will follow the usual process. So we already have an idea now of how it works. So what are the potential benefits of contracting this module? You will be able to offer your customers the opportunity to customize their journey easily using one system, which will help them save time. They can conveniently monitor the route using the interactive map feature, help them get an overview of the trip cost so they can they will know how much the trip costs overall, 
and can better understand the total trip expenses. Grant them the ability to save and continue their planned itinerary whenever necessary. And they will have the capability to see the whole itinerary in one booking. And for your travel agencies, you will have full control over how the business operates and how much profit it makes. You will make your product more competitive and sell more by using new ways to distribute it. And you will also offer a modern website and product style that match uh, current trends in tourism. We're going to start with the live demonstration. Okay, so we will initially access the intranet to see the back office configuration. Let's go to Trip Planner. And let's see the already created vacation your way. So what we should do to create this Trip Planner module solution is to specify the name the products that refers to the type of product you want to sell through this new module. These products can be hotels, flights, services, transfers, rent cars, or insurance. You can also indicate the minimum number of products you want your clients to select as mandatory and the maximum number of days trip uh, projects can be saved. We also have Access rules that allow you to grant or deny access to a certain market, group of countries, region, agency group, or customer you'd like. In this example, you can see here some rules created with their restrictions. So let's see how this will be reflected on the website. The first thing your client will need to do here is to specify the departure date. and the passengers and the number of rooms. The origin. Let's try Palma de Mallorca. The first destination of the trip, indicating the hotel area. And that one. Okay, and the nights that will be at that hotel hotel. We can add destinations also, add more destinations, also indicating the hotel area, Barcelona, for example. Tonight. Okay, and let's say that we want to set a return destination Palma. As you can see, um, the map updates accordingly when, when adding destinations. So we have flicked, clicked on continue. Okay. So there are flights and hotels for each destination that appear by default, as you can see, but your customers can change them by clicking on change and the system will show them the, av the available options on flights or hotels for that date. For example, let's change the hotel. The hotel in Madrid. Okay, let's select that one, for example. Oh, and here in the hotel, we can sort by price, by category, or by recommended options. Okay. That one was selected, perfect. Your customers can also uh, modify the dates entered before and the different destinations by clicking on edit. Okay. 
So we could change it here. No, but we will close it. Okay. So by clicking on add products, your customers can add more products to the trip. Let's add a service in Madrid, for example. We can sort by name here, for example, and select that one. Okay. So as you can see, there is a message on the screen suggesting adding a transfer or a rent a car because a hotel in the city center has been selected and there is no mode of transportation from the airport to the center of Madrid, the hotel area. So your customers can here add a transfer or rent a car, or they can decide to take a taxi or a public transport and dismiss this message. Let's say that they want to remove the Madrid-Barcelona flight and add a car for this route. They, they have to, to do that, they have to do select this flight, okay, and select your type of transportation that could be a um, car, for example. They must click on different drop off location. And then they can choose another location for returning the car. We're going to, to assume that they want to pick up the car at Madrid airport right upon arrival on day one. So Madrid. Madrid Airport on day one, okay. And that they want to return it on Barcelona Airport. That one on day three, perfect. So they must indicate their nationality and their age. And they would choose a car with its price. That one, for example. Okay, so it is possible to add uh, more products. Uh, let's say you want to add a service in, in Barcelona, for example. Okay. And sorting by name, for example, here, you will find this 60 minute uh, tour that we can also add. And it is also possible to remove any service or product, um, add it, just delete it, deleting it here. So we will delete that one just to show you, okay. As you can see, um, there is an, an icon of a car from Madrid to Barcelona. Now that we have um, at a car for this route and there, then there are some planes on the other routes. So um, it appears the option to add um, a third destination if we want because it's possible to add as many destinations as, as they want and the interactive map will update the itinerary. But in this trip, we will only include the products we have already added. By clicking on the itinerary, your customers can see a summary of the trip they have created up to that point. 
Okay, and the itinerary can be saved for later. And they can proceed to um, proceed with the booking through the link received, just copying it. Okay. Or they can uh, request to receive the, it via, via email. Okay, I'd like to clarify here that this would not be a quotation, but it is a step, a step before getting a quotation. It is simply a number that allows access to the itinerary build. This, but this information has not been sent to the provide to the supplier yet, and the booking is not completed. So let's click on booking. Okay. It is not necessary to fill out passenger details for each product. It's enough to complete them in this tab once. So let me complete it. Okay, so um, we can see here um, some um, some additional um, supplements that uh, the system offers. Okay. important information about the, um, the products added. Okay, and if we were, um, if you, I mean, if your clients have a promo code, they can add this on the, on, this later step, let me show you. Okay, right here. If they have a promo code, they could enter it here. Um, the system will request booking holders information and it could be automatically complete if it matches the previous passenger information, for example, that one. And in case of B2B agents details, um, it would also be requested here. So. Here, the system is offering some insurance for our products. Let's say we don't want it and add a credit card.
Okay, translation policies for each product are available in policies and conditions. And it's in, well, you can see it right here. Okay. And it's important to, to check, to mark this checkbox, accepting them. And to complete the booking, it would just be necessary to click on, on complete booking. I'm not sure if it will work because of the credit card, but let's see. Okay, this is the demo environment, that's why it is that slow. But well, it's okay. That would be the whole process, so, okay. Okay, no problem, that might be because of the credit card, but it's okay. We can, um, we can use uh, another, um, booking I've already previously done. So um, just to finish the demo, we, we have gone again to the booking, to the intranet, I'm sorry. And let's go to the bookings and let's search for the other one. There should be a booking with a number, okay. So I would like to show you here that uh, in this type of products, there are uh, there is a booking line for each product contracted, just like in the dynamic packages. You can see it right here. Okay, that there will be a booking line for each product. Okay, so let's go back to the presentation. Okay, so we will start with the conclusion of the webinar. The Juniper Trip Planner, it is a travel itinerary builder that will allow your customers to create personalized itineraries in a simple way. Your customers will be able to choose the transportation, travel dates, accommodation, additional services with the option to modify the selection. The system keeps the itinerary visible through the interactive map, as we have seen before, helping your customers to follow their trip. And the option to save and continue the itinerary will also provide convenience to your customers. And you will increase your competitiveness and your sales by offering a new and efficient way to distribute your product. As this modern interface is in line with current tourism trends and will give your company an edge over the market. So that's it for today's webinar. If you'd like to read back some of this information, you can find it on your Juniper support tool under articles and webinars, Juniper Trip Planner, or you can watch this webinar again on our YouTube channel that can be accessed through our corporate website, ejuniper.com. Thank you all for your time. I hope this webinar has been useful. Should you have any queries, please, please feel free to send us 
an email to salesconsultants at eJuniper.com and we will be happy to assist you. Thank you very much.